All right, three figure review. All right, so today we are going to have a figure review of the Bandai Dragon Ball Super figures, uh, Golden Frieza, Son Goku, Ultra Instinct, and Jiren from Dragon Ball Super. All right, these are the ones that you can pick up at your local Target. They are the Dragon Ball Evolve uh, line, but uh, yeah, they're not too expensive. I think they're like ten, twenty dollars. Not too sure, but. Let's go ahead and take a good look at them. All right, so we're just going to do this all in one clip. No need for uh, jumping around here. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the articulation of each one and then uh, also show you the uh, detail, paint, height, all that fun stuff. So let's find out the height. So far, they look absolutely stunning the way they are sized because Frieza is really that short and Jaren is actually quite tall and more tall than Goku. So... Jaren stands at just about six inches high. You know what? Let's use a better one. Let's use an actual measuring tape. Jaren is five and seven eighths, it looks like. Goku is five and a half. And Frieza is four and I would say five. Five eighths, four and five eighths. All right, guys. So now let's see how they look next to their actual uh, figures, their Bandai figures or uh, SH Fig Arts figures. Size comparison. There's, they're really, really different in size. As you can see, Goku. Let me fix his feet really quick. Goku right here. Ah, oh, they're gonna fall. Lovely. Yeah, that was my, that was all my fault right there. Yeah. All right. So you can see the size difference in comparison with them. So, yeah, uh, big difference. So let's go ahead and start with uh, Frieza, and go from there. All right. So, camera is not focusing. Here we go. All right. So let's take a look at Frieza and all, all his glory, Emperor Frieza. Hello, monkeys! Yes, there he is. He's actually quite nice. I think I'm going to use him because I do not have a Frieza of my own. That's why I didn't put him in comparison with the rest of them. Because I don't have one. But he is actually a really nice one. He's got good joint system. Really flexible. Um, I'm not really too liking the old school type uh, joints for his hands. They do do the full round. They do not have any accessories. What you see is what you get with them. There is nothing else. He does have a front kick, and I don't like the fact that there's a barcode on the bottom of the foot. That sucks. This front kick only goes about to there. His back kick, really small, about to there. His tail is just on a spin, so you can't really get anything out of it other than this. That kind of sucks. He does have a really nice ab crunch back his head his head is kind of tight it doesn't do a full turnaround looks up and down quite nicely but that's it for Frieza yeah he's got that ab crunch there got that one there he doesn't have really much gapage but you can see that gap right there all right so we're done with Frieza well, let's go ahead and go move on to Jaren Pretty sure everybody wants to see Jaren. Kind of looks kind of really freaky. I don't know. Can you guys see his red eyes? I barely see his red eyes. He looks more like a... What's it called? Aliens and Predators? Was it Prometheus? There you go. He looks like one of those Prometheus guys. Yeah. More than he does look like a Dragon Ball character. Yeah, so... His arm... Does one of those. Okay. This can do a full 360 and goes backwards and forwards. Head does not very much move at all. He does do a 360 though. And then his arm does go out to about that far. 
you can reach it up to about like that. His leg, he gets it higher than uh, Frieza's. Doesn't go any back more than Frieza. And then you got the foot. And the same thing on Frieza. And there's no toe hinge. All right. So, as you can see, paint is kind of kind of brushed off right there a little bit. Got it off. But literally, but yeah, there's not there's not really a whole lot of paint on here, so you're not really getting much out of it. So, with that guy there. Now, let's take a look at Goku. Ultra Instinct. This is the character that we're all looking for. And he looks actually quite awesome. In comparison, let's, let's take a look at the face comparison. I know it's not the face, same face sculpt, but... Literally a difference. Not much of a difference there. Eyebrows are darker, eyes are darker. You can see more with the hair. The hair is more metallic -y on this one than, uh, than this one. It's a bit more dull. But yeah. So, same thing. He's got a bicep swivel, arm up and down. He's even got like a butterfly joint going in here. Uh, Jaren did not have a butterfly joint. Arm goes up there. It's a single joint hinge. Same thing with the wrist. Head, full, full 360, up and down. Okay, ab crunch, really nice. Look at that. Look at that ab crunch. He can rock that flying motion. Okay. And then, have right there. Pretty good kick. Front kick. Bend at the knee. Haya. Foot does a side pivot. Turns all the way around, but does not have a front and, and like an up and down. It's pretty lame. But uh, it does not turn out the boot at all. And then his back kick goes about that much all right and that is all for these figures um if you don't want to pay the full price for the sh fig arts those ones are pretty nice those ones will actually look really nice in the collection they do have really good joint system and all that um yeah pick them up at target they always have them out there um i've seen them at walmart um I did buy them uh, a while ago. Uh, I got the Brawly and Goku and uh, Vegeta, I think is, is what it was, for a uh, Dragon Ball Super Brawly movie that they had. Um, because they weren't in SH Vigarts, I just gave them to my son because they were cheap and I they had like thousands of them there. Um, now I can't find them and now they're expensive. So, um, yeah. Um, I'll probably use Frieza because I don't have a Frieza and he's actually a really good Frieza in the in the process of getting a real SH figure. But all in all, this is uh these three figures are really nice. Um uh, if you can't afford it, go to Target, pick them up. They work really well. And as you can see the size comparison, they will work together really really swell. But um Yeah. Alright. If you like the video, please smash that thumbs up button and hit the uh, subscribe to see more future content. As you can see, I have Bakugo Yamaguchi. Then I have uh, Fake Grand Order, uh, Berserker Lancelot. And I have a few more, as you can see over here, this one. And then, uh, yeah, so I'll be posting more videos.